Hi guys and welcome to another episode of You Squad Stars here with Cambridge United. Um, first off, um, there's been an update, not even worth talking about it. Something to do with Ultimate Team, not interested in that crap. And they've ch basically changed three players, um, sort of like avatar things, that's it. That's all they've done. Um, yeah, not even worth like discussing. Um, but anyway, um, they probably completely messed the game up now because that's usually what they don't tell you in the update when there's ever an update. They usually mess more things up than what they actually repair. But anyway, um, enough of that. Hyder got in touch, wants his hair changing. Um, that's what I've changed your hair to. That's the He asked me to, to change it to Sanchez at um, Espanol's hair. Um, that is what I've done. That is what his hair is. I hope you're happy with that. Um, if not, let get in touch again. Anyone else wants to get in touch. Feel free to do so. Um, I think that's the only person that got in touch with regarding how they look and stuff. Um, yeah, let's um, crack on, shall we? Um, and get into today's episode. Right, we have got games against Port Vale. It's going to start things off. Then we've got um, Swindon, and then we follow up with um, a game against Cheltenham. So um, it's going to be interesting this one because obviously with having uh, that midweek game. Three games within sort of like seven or eight days, whatever, is always going to be telling, especially uh, players of like this, not going to say level, but at this age, because the way EA makes that all young players have like crap stamina, doesn't make any sense because um, as I got older, my stamina depleted. When I was younger, I could run for days, basically. Do you know what I mean? I don't know um, whether they're getting their like information from but anyway enough of that um let's crack on and take on port vale shall we right then so here is the lineup i'm um, going into this gerbil in goal we got um all at right back and pepper and wilson um center backs and we got green tree at left we got musley and warren in the middle with green just ahead of them garber on the left zardine on the right and clark is going to start things up top in today's episode with regards to Port Vale, they're playing four at the back, got one holding sort of central defensive midfielder, and then they've got another four uh, midfielders sort of like right in front of them, and then like the one single striker up top. So kind of defensive, um, you'd say, like from Port Vale, going to sit with two banks of four, um, and then maybe try and catch on the counter attack. Let's um, see how we get them. Well, I think you can, don't give us two more minutes of this. Let's let's put us out of our, put the crowd out of the misery. It's it's a terrible, terrible first half. Absolutely awful, awful first half that was. Really, really bad from both sides. Just, yeah, terrible. Well, I'm going to make Clark come off, or should I say Dion is, because he's not really influenced the game. Uh, Trevor Mahoney's going to come on. Arnus is also going to come on for Jake Warren, because we know what Jake Warren's stamina is. He's probably got the worst stamina of all these players and stuff, and yeah, he's feeling it. Right, Mahoney sees Zeradine. He's not played the best ball through to him, though. It needs to be a better through pass. But Hyde has done well, and this is a chance. Oh, who's that? Musley coming in. Hits it straight at the keeper, though. That was our best opportunity of the game. 74th minute, and we've actually done something. Garber now. Maybe things are getting a little bit stretched. I mean, I did say that Port Vale is set up in a very defensive-minded sort of formation. Um, maybe they're just tiring a bit now. Who is on cue to come in with one of his signature type goals? It seems to be a good combination between Haider and Trevor. I think Trevor is now maybe calling out to be our resident striker. Kind of hit it. It's a bit the maybe the wrong foot there it's the weirdest like f you wouldn't necessarily hit that coming across from that side with that foot to that what hmm that, that just didn't doesn't sort of was right but yeah no yeah sixth goal in the league for mr mahoney green tree cuts inside now finds um garber what can you do from here Oh, he can't squeeze the ball through. Mosley was asking for it, but he couldn't squeeze it through. Montano. Oh, Arla's out position. Hanat gets this across. Gerbil with a good punch. That should be it. Yes. Well, I didn't think we'd get three points from this game. 
definitely not at half time anyway. They they set up very much to defend completely. As you can see, they've not even bothered with really attacking us. We didn't get many chances, but we did towards the end there. Um, Hyde just picked up another match. Maybe it's his new haircut. I don't know. Coventry must have won as well. They're still just the one point behind us. We're up against Swindon next to a third. So it's first v third. They would love a win against us to obviously close the gap. Right, game two then. Um, as you can see, pretty much everyone's been changed because obviously there's only a few days in between like this one um, and um, the game against Port Vale. So we got um, JP3 is going to be starting. Um, contemplating starting Trevor but then his stamina wasn't full on so he's on the bench um, ready to come on we've got Patrick, we've got Tomo, then we've got Awazi then we've got Arnus, um, playing Clark in midfield because he can play midfield, he can even play as left back as well so I just thought um, let's see what he's like in midfield because he just seems to not be suiting that sort of striking role um, at the moment um, so maybe we can find a, a better position for him um, we've got Rhodes come in, um, Ubogu, um, Jonasson and uh, Thomas with Gerbil still remaining um, in goal so let's um, look at Swindon as you can see they've got four at the back then they've got a sitting um, CDM with two midfielders just ahead of them and then three up front so um, a bit more attacking than what Port Vale were so this should be an interesting one let's see how we go okay Arnus goes out here to find Patrick Ah, couldn't get past. Oof, Noyle, he's got pace, Jesus. Here's Anderson now, okay. He's got a bit of pace about him as well. They seem to um, have some fast lads on the Swindon side. Thomas has had to usher that out for a corner. And we have got, well, Wazzy is in. Oh, what a, what a tackle. I thought I got round him. Thought I got round him. That's a hell of a tackle. Oh, and they're right here now. Woolery. Here he is. Chance. Oh, went for the near post jib, although covering his angles like every goalkeeper in FIFA 19 should do. You know, normally you get beat there. This is definitely feeling more, you know, like a top of the table clash. Oof, oh, my word. Tomo. Let's do, get Batrick in. Play it back inside. Finds Tomo. Surging forward. Goes for the strike. Good effort. Vigaru is there. GB3 now being pushed out wide. Uh, again, not able to find any clear cut chances. Tomo, though, it's Clark. Chance. Wow, he's hit the bar. Well, he's done more from midfield than he's done as a striker. That's the closest I think Clark's got. Or has Clark scored? Maybe, maybe he has scored. No. But, yeah, hitting the bar there. Salvage something. The shooting's been. Luckily for us, Swindon's shooting has been very wayward, um, which is. Good news. Um, I think it's one of those two teams at the top and not really wanting to give away anything, but as you can see, our shots on target were terrible. We had seven shots, but one on target. That's not not good, not good. Um, and when you get Danger Gerbil winning man of the match with a 7.7, .7, you just know that that was not a brilliant performance. Um, yeah, they kind of changed their formation to try and be a bit more attacking and stuff, but it didn't sort of pay off for them. We're conceding more than what we're scoring. Um, yeah, um, when you look at Coventry's goals for compared to ours, is it, there's a big difference there, but um, it'll get better. It'll definitely get better. But anyway, um, let's take on um, Cheltenham, see how we can finish the episode off. So taking that 0-0 draw against Swindon and playing a slightly weakened side kind of paid off because as you can see we've got a strong side that's all fully fit whereas Cheltenham obviously they played a midweek game as well and as you can see they're all not fully fit and I've tried to, that's the best I can side I can put out for them because they've got a couple of injuries as well on the bench and they've only got five reserve players. It's 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 crazy. I don't understand why these other teams haven't got any any players in their sides when you go to look at them. But um that's the best I can put out for them to be honest. Um but yeah um so <laughs> let's see um how we do. Um we shouldn't have any excuses not to, to, to win this um can looking at the like how the health is of their team but you never know how this game works. Bravo now waiting for the run of um, Green Tree sees it coming now you get the ball in, it's not bad. It's chance for Musley, he goes for the looping header and good save by Flinders. And Trevor 
Managed just to get himself a bit of space there. Hiding out. Whips this across. Finds Green Tree. Trying to get it under control. Get it back through here to Bellington. Goes with a laser of a shot. Hits the post. Forward. Bellington. Can you get a chance here? Mahoney. Zeradin stays on side. Looks to pull it back. Looking for the run here. Green. <sighs> Keepers keeping him in this, literally. His toes it. Raking ball over here. Oh. Too busy watching that pass then rather than trying to cut it out. Chance in. Wilson's there. Not the best of clearances. It's going to fall nicely though to Gerbil. Yeah, I think on a possibility of maybe playing Musley or Tomo in that camera. I think that's. Oh! Okay. I thought. That um, Wilson got that, but he kind of, as you can see there, just about behind Gerbil, that he sort of ducked out of the way of it rather than attacking it. I don't know what happened there because I was pressing for him to jump for it, and he just sort of ducked out of the way of it. Green, no, oh, there we go, off time. Uh, Ballington's knackered, so he's going to come off. Uh, going to bring Jake Warren on. I'm also going to bring JB3 on in place of Trevor because Trevor's just not been able to get himself into the game and see if maybe JB can. And that's a foul because I just lunged in. I thought it changed to the other player. And that's a yellow card for Hyde. I thought it changed to... Oh, that's... I've had word with the ref there. Yeah. He's like, come on, mate. No, that was definitely a yellow card. <laughs> when did... No wonder we've been sitting so deep. What the hell? Well, that explains a lot. That explains a lot, that the tactics have changed. Is that because of the update? I don't know, but... I've never played those tactics in my life. Drop back. What the earth is that about? Okay, green tree. This is much more like it. Get up the field now. Wondering why the players were just so buddy stagnant, not willing to get up the field. Warren, forward. Finds JB3, finds Mason. What can Mason do from here? Green tree. Crowd trying to get behind us now. Garber gets in behind. Whips the ball in. Chance. Oh, if JB3 had just been a little bit quicker there, I could have maybe nipped in before the keeper got there. Oh, lad. Stop the cross. Oh, no. Oh, Garber does well. Right, come on. Ah, oh, ref. Oh, uh, nil, the nil, nil. I apologise, guys, of the boringness of the today's episode with these nil nils and stuff. Yeah, eight attempts, only two on target. Not good. So we still got the attempts and stuff, but unfortunately, just meant to do it again. Defender picking up. Another match, yeah. Don't know, because maybe I've been feeling like that for a few episodes and stuff. In fact, sod it. Because there's been just nothing really in today's episode, I'm going to play another game. Because we've had two nil nil, so I can just whip through the the crap on the like um, highlights. Um, Coventry are now three points ahead of us. Who have we got? It finished off this month, doesn't it? Northampton. There we go. We've got to take on um, Bear Hams's, um Northampton to finish off March. Christ, we're nearly into April. God, the season's nearly over. That's that's flown by. Right, so that I don't send you all to sleep, let's see if we can um, do something. I've made sure that the settings are right now, as in the um, tactic settings, that is. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, as for the side that's going out, we've got a couple, just a, a few tweaks here and there. Um, brought on us in and also we're going to play Clark again in that midfield it just gives us a bit more as you can see pretty much all our players now getting around about the 60 mark now which is pretty good to see we've got um, the back four is pretty much sort of like kind of establishing itself now Gerbil in goal we've got Musley in Cam Garber Zeradine yeah they, they're sort of like definite um, in Trevor's going to start this one um, with JB on the on the bench um, as for um, Northampton they have got five at the back then they've got three in midfield with two up top so so it's 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 not necessarily defensive it's more you know a counter-attacking kind of like look inside and um, with having the two um, fullbacks that can just bomb on um, and then having those two strikers up top so should be uh, we should have uh, should say that we've not had any so far but we should have goals in this game let's find out okay 
Northampton to get things off and running here. Let's see um, if one of these two sides can at least entertain um, the crowds. Williams knocks this forward. Chance. Oh, that's a great sliding challenge from Wilson with his long legs there. Wow. That could have gone all sorts of wrong right there. Okay. Turnbull. Man, they are not playing like a team that is down in 20th. Let's put it that way. You find Mahoney. He can. Nearly got one of his spectaculars in the corner there, but good save there from Turnbull. No, yeah, not Turnbull. That's Turnbull on the foot. Turnbull. Turnbull on the ball now. What am I on about? Players out of position here. Williams going to dink this in and Pepper wins the header. It's going to fall here to Green Tree. Can he get the ball under control? He can. Garber now. Inside. Finds Mahoney. Goes out here to find. Uh, Hyder. Knocks it back. Clark comes to Arnas. Hits. Yo! How was that in? Oh, wow. That was just a weird... Why is it that he always scores weird long-range goals? Like, what is it that is with his... It's, he must have... I don't... It's just weird. It's like... It just dips. It just dips and, like, and clips the underside of the bar. It just dips right at the last... Like, he's kind of slices, slices across it. Keeper's thought it's going over. I'm thinking it's going over. And it just dipped perfectly and it's dropped in. Well done, Arnas. Wow. It was worth playing this um, this game just for that, even if we lose. You know what I mean? That was just a great goal. Pulling us about all over the place. A chance, but Foley puts it wide. Help out. Musley. Back to Clark. Oh, that was unfortunate. Well read by them. It's a chance here. Gerbil's down though. Can he get this back inside? He can. Garber. Goes for it. Oh, it takes a deflection. Or a block, in fact, not a deflection. I'm going to have to slide in now and cause a foul because he needed us to go out. All right, I slid in. It wasn't a foul. It was definitely a foul, surely. Oh, there it is. That's why it's not giving us a foul. I just remembered. Game's not going to give it as a foul when they've got the momentum. Just tell they were just so constantly on us, but I guarantee that their stamina is like going to be pristine. Just didn't win that header there. Garber and Green Tree both go in, and one probably thinking one's getting it, one thought the other one was getting it, none of them get it. Played across, and Gerbil is beaten. Wilson, look at him, he's knackered, he's not going to reach it. He's through. I've got no players. Gerbil, thank you. Jesus Christ, my players were so slow then. Wilson's, look, he's dead. He's just jogging back. He's... Warren, who's not got the best of speed, was the fastest man back there. I mean, I know he's only just come on, but that just goes to show how, how knackered my players were then. Yeah, this is going to be a 1-1 at this rate. Oh, they're going to nick it here. Yeah. As you can see, again, what is lacking is the accuracy on target. We are creating... The chances. Welcome, Clark is actually going to pick up man of the match here. So it, that also states that I think midfield is where he needs to play. Yeah, I think that's where he's going to be playing from now on. Swindon have dropped away, but at least everyone's played 39 now, so we get a bit more of a an idea of what's going on. Colchester only one point behind us, Burton are way off the pace. So we're, we're in the automatic promotion spot by a clear seven points and. We've only got seven games left. Yeah, but anyway, we need to do, um, yeah, look at the dice. Right then, as you can see above, um, there are all the names. Let's see which um, group it's going to be. And it's going to be the middle group, Blues. Okay, uh, which person is it going to be? Number five, it's Sam Holton. Doesn't get much of a run out, but it's going to be Sam Holton, so I'm afraid... Oh, no, need to find out which one it's going to be. First lot. Come here. Uh, I apologise, guys, it's not one of you. Is that a three? Hold on. It is a three. Uh, it's a... Just double... Uh, 
the three. Okay, which is... Okay, this is an interesting one. Um, if Sam Holton can be involved in three games without getting substituted, he gains a plus four to his stamina. Okay, if he can be involved, if can be involved in three games, he's not getting he's not getting three games. So, so we'll, we'll have to just see on that one. That's going to be after one. I'm going to have to remember because he's not really getting games. So we'll just have to see if he can get. If he can be involved in three games, so he needs to play three games and not be substituted. So in other words, he needs to not come off because obviously his stamina is low, just to, to win the plus four of the stamina. Uh, okay, I might have to just, I might have to play him. Yeah, that might have to wait until maybe pre-season of next season or something. I don't know, that could be one that's going to sit around for a bit, but anyway. Right, well, um, there we go. Four games in today's episode. Well, you know, I mean, two of them were, were pretty much not in void. Um... Like, uh, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, they were just boring and that was down to me not checking the tactics, which I've not even changed. So, but again, that is something that I've noticed that this game sometimes does that after there's a patch and I forgot. Like, you know I mean? Whenever there's an update, it seems to just have this weird random stuff that it just changes something. So, little tip to you guys, whenever there's a patch, go and check, make sure all your settings are how they were because um, it, it sometimes it just resets them to something so but anyway there we are we've we didn't lose we didn't lose we got three draws and a win got a great goal there from Arnos at the end got a great goal from Trevor as well in first game yeah and yeah I will catch you on Monday for another one of these let's see what we got coming up um, in April yes we are moving into April now okay we've got Carlisle then only two days later we got Forest Green but then at least we've got a bit of time off before we take on Macclesfield. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, guys, one of those is, like I say, will be awesome. You take it easy, guys. I will catch you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Dave from Mongo Gaming signing off. Cheers.